Hey, how's everyone? This is Mr. Baker uh, for Mr. Baker and Mr. Stark's Algebra 1 class. This is the video for our first standard, standard number one, operations with integers. Uh, this is something that you've been doing for lots of years, maybe since fourth grade, uh, without maybe knowing it as operations with integers. Uh, but we're going to add some the words to it, uh, tighten the definitions, and just make sure that there's some things that we remember that maybe you lost over some. Uh, let's do definitions first. Integer, write these down too as you take notes along with this video. An integer is just any number, positive or negative, that has no fractions or decimals added to it. An integer would be 7. An integer would not, would, would not be 7.5 or 7 and a half. An integer could also be negative 7, but not negative 7.5, negative 7 and a half. And then what's an operation? When you do an operation, that's just performing an action to two numbers or a number and a variable, like adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. When you do exponents, those are also operations. Pause this if you need to, to continue writing. There's three strategies that we're going to use to do operations with integers. One is using a number line. Two is remembering some patterns or rules. We're going to call them patterns, though. Uh, and three, just use a calculator. But the problem that you might get with a calculator is the calculator only does what you tell it to do. Uh, so if you miss press a, a button and are trusting that it's the right answer, if you don't have in mind some of the patterns or the way the number line would work, you're going to always assume that that calculator was right and you might get an answer that because you accidentally mess press a button is not the right answer. Uh, so even though the calculator is, is what we can use and that's what it's there for, uh, we also have to think about number lines and patterns still. So I'm going to go through these two and then there's some practice to do. A number line, you've seen before I'm sure, it's a line with some tick marks. Put zero in the middle with some positives and negatives. These are all integers, but you could put non-integers on a number line too. Uh, and I want to work out this negative two plus six. Think for a second if this was just two, actually we'll do two plus, let's make this even simple, uh, two plus three. We're going to use simple so we can use the number line and, and check our answer. Uh, two plus three I can do with my fingers. I've been doing that since first grade myself. Two plus three, and then count them. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Um, you can do that with positive numbers as long as you've got toes, feet, things to count. Uh, but it gets harder when we get negative numbers, which is why we can use the number line. Uh, to use the number line, first thing you want to do is locate where one of your numbers is on the number line. Here's two. And then adding goes to the right, gets bigger. Subtracting goes to the left, or gets a smaller number, or once we get negative, gets more or less than. Uh, so we're going to go to the right three spaces. One, two, three. 2 plus 3 is 5, I just did with my fingers. Let's do 1 with a negative, though. Let's do negative 2 plus 5. Locate where your negative is. Here's a negative 2. Go to the right, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. Let's do one real quick with subtraction. I'll do it in yellow. How about 3 minus 6? Find your first number. Minus or subtracting is to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What did you find? You got negative 3. 
3 minus 6 is negative 3. Using my number line. All right, let's move on to some rules you can think through. They might be a little faster once you get comfortable with using them. Uh, adding and subtracting, you essentially take the sign of the higher number. I'm going to show you that with a little Pokemon battle real quick. Let's do 3 plus negative 4. Negatives I'll do with white. Three things plus four negative things or subtracting four also. Uh, when Pokemon's battle up, if you played Pokemon before or any game like that, I guess, uh, they cancel each other out if, if one loses or not. Um, so let's cancel some stuff out. Pair them and take them away. We'll see what's left. One circle and one square. One circle, one square. One circle, one square. What's left? There's one. And I, I had those white squares being negative. So 3 plus negative 4 was negative 1. You can do the, the shapes and canceling each other out and pairing up. Uh, with any kinds of integers. Match them up, see if more negative or positive is left. Uh, I said a minute ago again, take the sign of the higher number. Uh, we also saw that the bigger number, 4, was negative, which made this a negative 1. How about multiplying or dividing? That's less simple to show with boxes and circles or different colors. So you pretty much just have to remember these patterns. Positive number times a positive number will always be positive. DOS meaning positive. A positive number times a negative number will always be negative. Anytime you get a negative in there, it makes that whole product negative. Remember on objective one, we talk about product, or next objective, then two and three, we'll talk about product being the answer of multiplication. And if you did two negatives, negative times a negative, those two cancel out, and that product will be positive. This whole pattern goes for dividing, too. Positive divided by positive, like 6 divided by 3 positives, will be a positive 2. Positive divided by negative will always be negative. So if I did 6 divided by negative 3, that would be negative 2. Negative divi divided by negative would be positive. Negative 6 divided by negative 3 is positive 2. Think of these as canceling out. These rules don't apply to adding and subtracting. Uh, kids will ask, well, I have two negatives that I'm adding, like negative 6 plus negative 3. Is that positive? No, when you're adding and subtracting, that would just get more. Any questions about the rules or any examples that we went through, bring it in class. We'll talk.